Finally, some positive news here in the market overview. Philippines have officially stated that they are not going to be removing the crypto exchange program Binance off of their country. Reason for some celebration because that would have been really bad and could have easily caused a domino effect. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into this, so stay tuned. All right, so like I said, in the intro, Binance will not... Ooh, let me put the microphone down a little bit. There we go. Binance has decided not to go forward with banning the exchange program, which is very, very good news. Obviously, if you're in the Philippines, that would have been really bad. But even for the global consequences, that would have had a serious impact as well. Not only because the market is very, very bearish and very, very volatile at the moment, and it could have easily caused a domino effect, but also because it would be basically an entire market partially cut off from the crypto exchange, which would have obviously had very negative effects on the people there, but also the global market. So let's just be very happy that it didn't happen. But we cannot celebrate just yet because it is not regulated at all in the Philippines. Now, what do I mean by that? There are no regulations whatsoever in the Philippines or very little about crypto and crypto exchange platforms, meaning that in the future, they might get regulated and get removed after all. In the end, that's why Binance wasn't removed right now anyways, because there were simply no regulations to support that. In the future, we might see something like that, but at least for now, Binance is safe and will be operable in the Philippines, which is really good for the whole market. That's basically all the news here from the Philippines. We're kicking it off with some good news, but we have lots more news to cover. So definitely sit tight, grab your morning coffee, and let's just get into it. Over here, we are seeing that Bitcoin has officially dropped below 380 billion in market cap. This is definitely one of its all time lows, this bear market. And we're seeing that as well in the price. Bitcoin has dropped below $20,000 once again, and now as, as well below 38. 380 billion market cap so bitcoin isn't doing so well for many traders however this is merely a very good entry point as i have seen basically the entire community sentiment happy that bitcoin is dropping and with good reason these are people that are looking to buy they want to get into the market they want to buy now that it's cheap and i know a lot of people that are actually wanting and looking for bitcoin to drop even further now, of course, everyone who's holding Bitcoin in its wallet isn't going to be too happy about this, but it was worth pointing out regardless on either fence, wherever you are. Then a quick heads up from the community. This is news you might have otherwise missed. So thank you so much to everyone in the community discord for sending these tweets, for sending these heads up. It must have really saved a lot of lives already. So right now there is a scam going on, a airdrop scam. Um, as of block 151,000 many numbers, there's been 74,000-ish addresses that have been sent a malicious token to target their assets under the false impression of a uni airdrop based on their LPs. And here we see the message. This airdrop is completely fake and it will give you malicious stuff. You don't want to have this. And I'm so happy that this stuff like this gets shared on our Discord. It's really not that easy to find on mainstream sources. So you really just need a community backing you up, giving you these, you know, insights. So very happy with that. Definitely stay safe. And if you have received any message like this, definitely be aware that this is probably not what you think it might be. In other news, Helium Network team resolves consensus error after four hour outage. Now, a four hour outage is bad enough as it is, but with any crypto project, of course, that is horrible. This block was posted 50 minutes ago, meaning it is very, very fresh. The network downtime affected token transfers and minor rewards, but not devices during the four hour outage caused by a failure in the consensus group. So we're seeing here a tweet from Helium themselves saying that we are back. The chain just processed block 1.4. We'll continue to monitor the chain throughout the day. Yeah, basically they're now back. We're seeing here actually a Discord screenshot saying because the 43 validator consensus group is randomly selected among the 3,657 staked validators, you'd need to be running at least 22 validators at the stake of 220,000 uh, HNT, and all of them must have elected to the consensus group. 
A Helium Common Moderator explains the AWS outage affected validators. So basically it was a validator outage from a software update on July the 11th, but it seems to all be resolved right now. So I guess good news, although bad news, but th there you go, guys, there you go. Moving over to the market review side of things, as we talked about before, we see the market cap here of Bitcoin below 380 billion and we are seeing the price below 20,000. So a couple of days ago, the market was in the green. And the first thing I said was, guys, listen, this is not gonna be for very long. And I guess I was right, because now the entire market is in full red as Bitcoin dropped back and Ethereum dropped down quite a lot as well, moving towards uh, the $900 mark. So the rest of the market obviously follows suit as always, and we're seeing everything in red. We see Cardano still at the eighth place, followed by uh, seventh place here, uh, XRP. What we are seeing though is that Cardano is actually going down below the 15 million, 15 billion market cap as it's now at 14.7. XRP is still quite significantly above Cardano with 15.2. So I think we definitely have a winner now in the war for Cardano and XRP. And that is XRP who is now pretty permanently at spot seventh. And as you guys probably expected, the fear and greed index shows exactly what we've seen in the market. We are at 16. I've actually expected a little bit lower, but if you consider that we were at 22 and I believe even 24 a couple days before, then it's definitely a big step backward. Obviously extreme fear as we can see in the market, uh, but a 16, not that bad. We've actually been at worse, but of course, if you have the same sentiment as me, you're probably on the, 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 the team that thinks that it's gonna continue going down. Uh, I think that we can definitely see a 15K in Bitcoin pretty soon. But then again, this is not financial advice, so it, it's not at all, uh, it's just my opinion. But I definitely think that could totally happen. That's very realistic at this point. And only one thing has to happen, like one more, company a lending company that has to collapse or one more government to completely ban bitcoin i think will be enough to send the entire market into a frenzy plummeting bitcoin down to around 15k i think that's very very possible and if that happens well then i think that might actually be a little bit of the bottom right sure we might go down a little bit more but i don't think bitcoin will drop much more than 15k so if it does that will be my personal entry point into bitcoin as for now i'm expecting it to drop further me personally my own opinion but again i'm not a financial advisor all right you guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video i am a little bit sick so if you heard me uh going a little bit like that then you know why that is also the new background you guys know it i move around a little bit but uh yeah we're gonna be in the this the new place the old place actually ones you've never seen before but it's gonna be sick we're gonna have an amazing background i'm gonna get myself some some cool posters for you guys some bitcoin posters <laughs> so uh you guys should be looking forward to that and yeah that's about it so thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe and join our discord and then i wish, wish you guys an amazing amazing day and uh, see you later, guys. Ciao, ciao.